Well, my friends, it is that time again for another Q&A, long and even looser, hanging loose with Omar Esop, answering your fitness and other questions. Just sit down, relax, grab a brew, post in the comment section below what you're drinking as you watch this. If you're on the shitter, make sure to mention it. Get relaxed and enjoy yourself. This is where we can all chill out and enjoy some questions for the next 10 minutes. Hit that shit. Ryan says, your motto is athletic aesthetic. Damn right, looking good, but performing better. He wants to know, do I see myself doing some sort of strongman, powerlifting, or Olympic lifting competition in the future? I do see myself doing more athletic endeavors. As you know, I'm gonna get into Olympic lifting. I will cap off powerlifting by doing a meet sometime, you know, over the next couple years. I'm young, my strength is progressing. I also, I've been sprinting. I was sprinting last year. I wanna prove on that. I'm gonna do that in the off season, during the winter bulk, find an indoor track to do that. You will definitely be seeing more athletic endeavors on my channel in the very near future, so stick around. Ryan Smith says, Smitty says, what mobility work you do and why? Well, I'm gonna make a video on this, but I do a lot of dynamic warm-ups. And what that means, I simulate the movements I'm gonna do. I find the tightest area, so if I'm squatting the bottom position, and I learn to open that up, both by isolating the muscles that need work, so I might work on my glutes, my piriformis, whatever the hell needs to fire or get a little more loosey-goosey, and then I'll start to simulate the pattern. So I'll do a, you know, an anterior loaded, like a goblet squat before I do a back squat, make sure the core is engaged. I also do maybe some light stretching, nothing too extreme, nothing lasting too long, but basically I want my body to start operating as I want it before I lift. So I want to make sure when I get to the bottom of the squat, it's easy, the deadlift it feels comfortable, the bench I feel tight. Hey look guys, it's Neil Diamond. He wants to know Sweet what are Caroline. my shut the fuck up. What are my pet peeves? Well, probably I'd have to go with small dogs, light beer, and Bosu balls. Those things just make no sense. Is that light beer right there? You think this is light beer right here? This is low and brow, bro. Lion's Brew. Say Lion's Brew. Lion's Brew. Lion's Brew. What the fuck is that? Kill that thing. Richard wants to know, struggling to increase my deadlift. Do you have any tips? Absolutely. I find a lot of people wear their belt too soon. And what will happen, they'll develop incorrect patterns where they rely on it too much. I'm a fan of beltless pulling, so if you're not doing that, I'd recommend incorporating that into your training. I'd find out where you're weak. Either if it's at the top, you gotta do some rack pulls or some block pulls. If it's at the bottom, get speed off the ground, some deficit pulls, get some quad strength with the front squat. Don't just think you have to do deadlift variations. Find out what portion you're weak, what you need to fix. Make sure your programming's on point. The biggest and best tip I can give when it comes to the deadlift, I see guys going ham, too hard and too much. They're training with too high of an intensity. You gotta back it down. Build those quality repetitions, build that form up. Don't always go for that one rep death lift. What does Captain Planet do for a job? What doesn't he do? You should already know Captain Planet from his famous 90s TV show, Captain Planet, where he saved the world, right? From pollution, from evil corporations, uh, you know, saved people from killing whales, orcas, uh, helped indigenous farmers grow their crops and get fair trade prices. Everything, Captain Planet was for the people to the people. He's changed since then, obviously. I mean, he's no longer blue, he doesn't have a green mullet, he's a little bigger, and he seems to like powerlifting a whole lot, and eat a lot of tofu, and sometimes his farts stink a little bit. But he's a hero, man. He's the hero that we need. Captain Planet is for us. <laughs> Zer says, if you're any comic book character, which would you be? <clears throat> now, everybody would be saying or assuming Superman, right? Oh, Superman, he's so strong. Fuck that guy. That little bitch is allergic to kryptonite. Instead, I'm gonna choose Silver Surfer. Norn Rad, the power, shut the fuck up. The power cosmic, that's what I'm talking about. Surfing the cosmic waves, exploring the galaxy. You got the power from Galactus. Okay, banging bitches all over the quadrant. That's who I'd pick. Silver Surfer, any day, all day. He's indestructible, okay? He fucks with him and he has that space cat, okay? Stay hard wherever he goes. Kevin wants to know what's my favorite shows. Well, I'm gonna tell you my favorite Canadian TV show that some of my international viewers may not know about, but everybody that likes comedy should check out. I'm talking, of course, about Trailer Park Boys, the shit abyss. Ricky, Julian, Bubbles, it is Pretty much the funniest show I have ever watched. I know everybody that watches it laughs their ass off. So if you don't know about it yet, Netflix that shit, Google, YouTube, and support them. Best Canadian show of all time. 
Cole asks, man, you don't touch on abdominal muscles much in your video. Do you train them? That's a great question. The answer is lightly and infrequently, mainly because the compound movements I do target them sufficiently. I've already had a large training history of training my abdominals. They have sufficient hypertrophy. If they had lean enough, you would notice them. Uh, what I find when doing compound movements, especially let's say front squats, the overhead press, proper deadlifts, executing them uh, as you're supposed to, as you're meant to, you will target your abdominals sufficiently. You will notice gains in that department. So doing in addition to that, some abdominal work, yeah, it could be warranted a couple sets throughout the week, but I don't think it's a major concern. Leanness will reveal your abs, right? Doing endless sets of crunches will not get you a six pat if you're not lean enough. That's it. Steve Cohen, he asks, he asks, he asks, he asks, do you believe in ghosts? Well, I'll tell you one thing. I believe in Patrick Swayze. I believe in that mullet. I know he's shining down from up there, down upon me. Legends, they never die. Besides, let me tell you something. Man, Boston make me feel good. Real good. What are your thoughts? Oh, where is it? Uh, what's better for hypertrophy? Squeezing at the top or just exploding on the rep? If it's a compound movement, I'm gonna have to go with exploding on the rep. Learning to become stronger to activate those fast twitch muscle fibers are crucial in order to build more muscle. Just think about it, as I said before, if you're doing 225 versus say 315, 315 is gonna build a whole lot more muscle. So, you better explode throughout that movement to complete that repetition. On the other hand, when you're doing isolation movements and you're attempting to target an area, right, a specific muscle group, you could choose which one you're targeting, like doing, say, tricep extensions, and that's when you can focus more on time under tension. If you focus too much on that, controlling the repetition, you're probably not going to throw that weight up, you're not focused, you're not going to train that nervous system, and you're not going to potentiate yourself for future strength gains, which will lead to more muscle. So big point, compound movements, explode that shit, isolation movements, that's when you can, you know, take time under tension. Mr. Brandon Campbell Diamond asked the best question so far, where he wants to know, whose mullet would you rather have, Daryl Hall or John Oates? Now this is a serious question, I have to give some contemplation. I would say that Daryl Hall's mullet has some key feathering to it. His hair, it's like the pinnacle of feathered game. He is blue-eyed, soul incarnate. Now on the other hand, we got John Oates. He has that pimp mustache, he has that lady killer swag, swagzilla, and he has kind of that kinky mullet that almost resembles maybe a jerry curl, he's part of the Jackson 5, so that's pretty deadly. Something tells me he's got some dance moves. In addition to that, his genetics suggest that he has some serious tricep growth, which Daryl Hall does not have. I bet Daryl slays the bitches, but John Oates on the other hand, pimp stash, plus Jerry Curl mullet, <laughs> I got with my boy John Oates. Your thoughts on front shoulder raises? Unnecessary, why? Because that anterior delta gets too much love on the bench press, on the overhead press. By the time you honestly want to do isolation movement, that side deltoid, that rear deltoid, it's not getting enough love. That anterior deltoid is like that favorite child, the oldest child that goes off to college, doesn't get the hand-me-downs, gets everything he ever wanted. Whereas that rear delt is that redhead stepchild, doesn't get no love. Well, y'all don't realize while we're delivering this content for you guys, my lovely viewers, we're being attacked here. It ain't no game. This is risky business. Tom Cruise knows what I'm talking about. These wasps, they're coming after us with intention to kill. We're fighting back. It's a death. This is a kill zone right here. Search Pantera's death trap, and that's what's going on. How many we killed? We damn near killed. Fucking shit. Two ducats, man. Two ducats at least on all sides by these wasps. It's a full invasion. We don't fuck around. Tape off the scene of the slaughter. You understand what I'm saying? We're fucking done. Luke wants to know, what's my favorite movie? Now, I don't know if he's talking about dirty movies or if he's talking about actual film, cinema. I'm gonna assume cinema to keep this PG. What I gotta say, you know, picking a favorite film is hard to do. There's so many great films over time. But really, when we talk about directors, there's only one in my books, there's only one top director because my top 10 can literally be filled with his films. I'm talking, of course, about Akira Kurosawa, the master himself. He comes from Japan, the land of the rising sun. His films, as far as I'm concerned, are above everyone else. You owe it to yourself, if you love just watching movies, to rent some of his films and watch it. You know, of course, we got Seven Samurai, we got Ron, we got Throne of Blood. Yo Jimbo's the one. Yo Jimbo is the one I'd recommend if you're just casually into films, you want to watch something that is entertaining. I dare you to watch that film and not enjoy the hell out of it. Silent Mike, the Silent Mike from SuperTraining.tv, strongest gym in the West, wants to know uh, what are your goals? Life goals, lifting goals, uh, YouTube goals. What about your hair? Well, my hair is going to remain luscious, long, and free as it's meant to. Let the mane go wild. 
Uh, in terms of my lifts, I told you I want that 350 bench at about 180 pounds, 600 pound deadlift, 500 pound squat before going on to Olympic lifting. In terms of YouTube goals, I got some really cool content planned for you guys in the near future. Time to jack things up, so stay tuned. And of course, life, you gotta enjoy it. You only got one life. And really, if you want to talk about something, I want to do a collab with Super Training. Mark Bell, we've been talking about it. My favorite pineapple, you sent me some gangster rap, some, you know, a slingshot, some shoes, the only natural progression. People ask, when are you going down to Super Training? Well, when Mark decides to bring me down to Sacramento. So if you want to see that happen, the strongest collab in the history of the Western Coast, make sure to like this video, leave a comment below, and we'll be sure to make it happen. Well, my friends, I would love to stick around, but as you can see, we put quite a dent on these right here bears. I know I say thank you so much for watching these videos. The feedback on the long and loose, looser and loosest videos has been ridiculous. Make sure, as always, to like this damn video. Leave a question or a comment below, whichever you prefer, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video.